All right, let's get started. Um, so just so you all know that uh, I am recording now. Um, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, welcome to the very first session uh, of Frag Kingdom, and it's going to be also a very short session. <laughs> um, got a little uh, late getting started, uh, technical difficulties and all. We figured out the webcams, finally. Really happy with that uh, for the most part. Um, so I want to feast your eyes on this beautiful, beautiful map. Um, took a lot of work, uh, but I got it to be in this large, large, uh, unpixelated size. So you can zoom the crap out of this, um, and it almost looks like you can see the grain of paper. Um, I'm gonna do it. Do it. Actually, I'm gonna do it too. Okay, it does get a little that grainy. Giant squid, dude. The giant squid has got to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's good. There's a squid somewhere in the water. Oh, there he is. All right, so uh, go to the top left por portion of the map um, where you see the legend. Um, it says the world of Acheron and post-King's Alliance and so forth. Um, and then to the bottom of that uh, legend, it says seven days travel by foot. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now take your ruler. That's the circle with the thing sticking out. I wish they didn't change that icon, but uh, take your ruler and yeah notice that it is actually measuring in the number of days test the legend out mm, i love it test that legend out. it looks so good oh shit Yo, yeah that's fucking crazy um it's definitely an approximation because as you can see the white boxes are uh right shorter now? than the dark oh. boxes um but yeah so now you can see how long it takes to journey say from n to o approximately six days um, we're gonna we're gonna round to the nearest hole so if it's like 5.4 then we're gonna say it takes five days okay, um, okay. so now let's head <laughs> so the squid's the center of the map um, so head to the <laughs> head east of the squid octopus um, octopus uh, octopus yeah east of the octopus and uh, the that building marked a the large building that stronghold that's where Pretty much most of civilization kind of live. Um, and as you see, it takes uh, a few days just to get to B, which um, if I was clever, I'd have the legend up beside me to know what B is. But anyway, um, so let's talk about our uh, how we're going to start our story here. Um, so Hamish and uh, how do you pronounce your character? Is it uh, Silent? Yep. Silent. Awesome. So, um, so Hamish went to Silen's uh, town, um, town or village? It's just a little village. Little village. Okay. So, uh, well, then, is your village on the map? I'd say no. Okay. Um, where near A, um, I would say about a week's travel away, somewhere, um, is your village? Oh, that's not much. Can't have pain. Uh, just uh, select the arrow at the very top, and then you can just click and hold to ping. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. One problem with the, the press to talk is it seems to back. By the way, B is Ferris. No problem. Where are our character sheets? I forget. Uh, I have it pinned in uh, Discord. Okay. Um, Remy, feel free to help her out. Sure thing. I you do not check. have it pinged yet. I know how to check pings. I just had it. Uh, let's see. What is that? A link? It doesn't look like a, it's not a link. There you go. There's no. Uh, there's no not, pinned links. Not pinned yet. I just sent it to you though. Oh, oh. I didn't pin it. Okay, shame on me. Uh -uh. Oh, no, that's why I was saying you're not like the past you is not cool. No, no. Because even you well, current me is not cool either. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, <you laughs> at least I'm cool. consistent. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, how's the ruler thing done again? Uh, so it's like the very center of the toolbar on the left. You just click on that. Um, it defaults to snap to center and show to others. And then you can just click and hold and move around. Um, and uh, if you want to change the colors for, uh, well, you, um, it's the color box to the right of your name. And you just click on that and you'll have a, a color picker, picker color and 
There you go. Just run with it. Color picker. <laughs> but it's what they're called. <laughs> I, I, know. Think, I think that my color is Very a bad clever. choice because most of this map is my color. And it's like I chose my favorite color. Yeah. Which means I love this map, but my measuring thing doesn't show up very well. <laughs> no. I mean, at least the number of days does, but uh, is there a shade up from that? Yeah. I should yeah, Jinx has it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I like your color too, Jinx. <laughs> I'm keeping my color. Okay, fine. So, so you're saying uh, right about there? Like right here? Yep. Okay. Uh, do you want to be on the bay or close to the woods? Sorry. I thought there was something on my desk. I could. I guess I could have just done that. <laughs> Using the camera to fucking spy on myself. Dang it. I keep choosing colors that are really close. See, to how do I draw a circle? Circle is hold alt. So yeah, uh, Silent, is your village closer to the woods or closer to the bay? I just pinged it. I know. I'm I'm asking you, like, is your you're pinging in between? So I don't know which is it. Yeah, uh, it it's because I'm I'm pinging between the woods and the bay. It's okay, right so, in that area. So between, so the two. they have access to On both the beach. water and the woods. On the beach, basically. Wait, how do how do I make it a filled shape? Mm. Oh, you have to. Uh... Select the second color picker instead of the checkerboard. Err. Okay. Ah, what? Oh, you're doing phenomenal. Dang it. Yeah, this I'm map... I'm a pro at this. This map is full of my favorite colors, and so the only thing I can choose to make it show up is my not favorite colors. Okay, let's do that again. Nailed it. And now none of us can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, right there. <gasps> Did I get it right? Ping it again. I wasn't looking. I was working on something. No, I, I mean, there's a dot there now. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a dot there. Yeah. A dot there. Okay, so, doing some cool stuff here. We're going to add text. Yeah, that, sh that shows up enough. This this is definitely not going to backfire on me. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Are you going to make that the letter S? You know, uh, do we have double letters yet? I feel like we should do nope. double letters for... Okay, mm -hmm. good. So we'll do good. double letters for um, for us, for the stuff that we create. Thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I was saying S, because it ends at R. But yeah, I think double letters is a better idea. It uh, <laughs> it won't let me type. Why? What? It won't let you type? No. Hmm. Just draw one with a black marker. Oh, yeah. We're... I think at this point, probably we'll have to. Um... Oh gosh, let's zoom in for this nonsense. <laughs> I expect extreme penmanship. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hang on. That is All still. Right. Oh yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We're going to go thinner. I'm going to take a quick restroom break while you figure that out. Oh wait, what am I doing? Why am I just, okay. Why am I not just uh, doing long, ah! Oh yeah, you can get away with polygon line because it's A's. Yeah. <laughs> you shiesty villain, dude. I'm just doing a quick test here. You guys hear me okay? Yep. Yep. Okay, I just changed my, my <laughs> press to talk button from mouse button 3 to mouse button uh, 4. That way I'm not accidentally backing out of roll 20 every <laughs> Nice. That was getting annoying on my end. <sighs> this is exhausting. Why Why wouldn't text work? Then I have to, like, manually write that because the A's... Well, yay! Look at that! 
<laughs> all right. Oh, goodness. Yeah. All right. So AA is going to be your village. Oh, there isn't, a. Like, there isn't a place to put it. So, quick question. Is it yeah. a Canadian village? Uh, are you guys nice? <laughs> I don't know about that, but considering it has an A, it's A. So, a. you know, a. It's a Canadian thing, so you all know, thought Canadian. Could be, could be. All right, cool. So that's where you guys are coming from. So I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of pass uh, in kind of like this direction. Um, kind of like you, the road to C and then follow that to B and then to A. Cause I don't know if you would actually go through here. Um, so yeah, I feel like you would uh, journey through here somehow um, to make your way to Stronghold. So I think that uh, you guys kind of reach out about, I don't know, one and a half days out this direction. Um, and uh, maybe maybe the road goes through the edge of the woods here or something and that's where Jinx and the bandits he's with uh, jumps you guys. Oh, am I in his village? Uh, no, so where you're coming from, I would imagine, um, uh, Zeal, is that your... I made Zeal? a yellow pink dot by an accident. I was thinking over here because I thought I was from, like, the desert. Oh, yeah. But... Well, that's not going to work, though. <laughs> All right. Um, um... Where would you come from, then? That, uh, what if... What if you were... Uh, well, I don't know. You tell me. What makes the most sense? Because I, I feel like... Um, let me get the ping here. Because I feel like here... Whoa, that's a giant ping from this zoomed-in state. But that's yeah, pretty... Uh, that right, right about so there is where, where um, the encounter occurs. How about this? To keep lore related. Mm -hmm. Say we were over here, right? And then, like, the three years has passed. Mm -hmm. So, and since we're, like, nomads then my tribe could have come from here, this direction, over the course of like the three years, wherever we settled for a while or whatever, and then eventually started working ourselves up to H, or maybe like just me and a couple others, and then now I'm nearby. Yeah, what was your objective? Your objective was to get a stronghold though, right? Well, technically my objective was now that the, like, whatever of the Druid King is gone, um that we were going to like explore the other worlds and stuff like that. Oh, okay. That like under his reign. So, okay, so maybe maybe you left Stronghold then and went to G and then uh and then did what you were saying. Like here and then Well, cuz I'm like a wild tribe. Right. Well, so I didn't live within a city. No, I know when he was I'm, alive. Yeah, I know. I meant that uh you Whatever you were doing, your tribe's nomadic, right? Yeah. Um, you're like, so you're saying we ended up in Stronghold, and then I went to G and stuff, and then over here? Yeah, I might have to renege your story to be not in Bloodstone Desert to the east. Um, that's fine. Just uh, just because that's kind of where the uh, the Twi live, uh, as okay. well as here in the forest. They're kind of they're kind of on the east side of Stronghold, pretty much. Um, so well, then maybe I just started going north after he died. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe you've been. Uh, um, maybe you guys came from the white expanse. How about that? From That's the what I was literally just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that uh, you were in the giant city known as Compass. Um, yes. <laughs> with the with the gigantic spires um, and uh, traveled <laughs> traveled around or through the tomb forest, which probably around. Um, let's just say there's uh, um, tales about Tomb Forest, and um, yeah, and you're just kind of making your way towards Stronghold, but uh, thought it safer maybe to follow the the bay, the water. Yeah, um, that makes sense. And uh, now the distance here is great, isn't it? I mean, like, look at this. This is like from just from H to where the combat occurs is three days. So yeah. So perhaps we went to check out the surroundings of Stronghold and decided to go a little bit west first. Yeah, something like that. I think that yeah, makes well, sense. 
So I mean, the bottom line is yeah. uh, we can figure out the details later. Um, right, right, right. Is that uh, that you came around here? Um, that so uh, for yeah, Hamish, I'm from H for now. Yeah, you just kind of went from there. That crumbling pile of rocks. Yeah, maybe because yeah, that would make sense because okay. we would like take things. Not that like we're thieves so much, but it seems pretty abandoned. Shelter kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And okay, so now you're a nomadic tribe, but it's just like you and a couple of other folks, right? Yeah, we're not like fucking, you know, like eighty people. So to not complicate the story too early on, um, while Silent has uh, an entourage with her because um, they're escorting Hamish back to Stronghold, um, mm. that uh, you having compatriots may mean that I have to conveniently kill them. Um. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm being escorted so much as traveled with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that uh, since they're traveling with you, um, they're providing escort is a way to put it. Uh, okay. uh, what, if, what if they are at G and I ventured to H on my own to scope the area out as if I was like... A tr not a tracker, I forget what they're called. A scout. They literally, wow, a scout. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe, so, they, maybe they followed around, provisioned at uh, AA, and uh, and then continued on that direction. <laughs> Whereas for you, you said, okay, well, I'm going to um, take this fork here and head that way. So Yeah. I mean, by all means, you can kill them, but then I can't interact with them later <laughs> if we ever need can to. Can you so, put a dot where the ambush happens? Because... I saw you ping it earlier. But oh I yeah, uh, I'll do better. I'll mark it with an X. <gasps> Whoa! I'll fix it. <laughs> Whoa! Let's go to the object layer. That's though. a big swathing area that they're attacking. <laughs> <laughs> so they just take out stronghold. <laughs> Something and actually not that far from your village. Whoa! What the? Why? Why? Hey, there we go. Uh, here it's pointing at the spot. How about that? Um, I didn't mean to do that, but there it is. All right, so uh, we are not gonna have time to do combat, combat. So we're gonna do something really more narrative. Not even um, not even theater of the mind. Uh, just just for the sake of time. I don't know what that means. Uh, that means combat without miniatures, basically. Um, okay. They're just kind of like how we did for swinging it yeah, yeah. kind of like we did for fragged empire last season so um but we're not going to do that we're just going to do this kind of story-esque just so we can get the gang together uh so let's start so we can get the game together sorry you cut out uh so we can get the gang together you guys <laughs> um <clears throat> so let's start our story with uh after we figure that all out uh so let's start a story with uh oh yeah i guess i should ask uh a couple of questions. See, I mean, y'all had homework. Um, uh, what is the name of your village, Silen? If you don't have one, we can just say Silen's Village for now. Yeah, Silen's Village. It takes me a while to come up with names. All right, no problem. Uh, and we won't need that this session then, um, but just after the fact, just hit me up. So, um, Hamish uh, and Silen uh, left together from uh, Silen's Village. Um, and uh, with Silen was also a, a few other uh, uh, Kaltoran um, that are going to uh, take this trip with Hamish back to Stronghold. Um, where, starting where at the map? Uh, on AA. The map? Oh. oh, okay. So starting from AA. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is that, about like a day's journey? So um, about a day out, you guys made camp. Uh, you, le you left the next morning and not even a couple hours uh, into your journey um, were you suddenly, uh, well actually, no, 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 hang on, let me rewind. I, I wanna do some fun story stuff here. Um, so uh, let's, start, let's start the story with uh, after you guys make camp um, and it's morning um, and uh, do you want to start before or after breakfast? Like you're kind of gearing up and ready leaving or already be on the road? How, how do you two want to do it? Start, start being ambushed, you mean? No, no, no. Start uh, starting the day. Like it's uh, I, I kind of rewound, so that's my messed up, my bad. That um, after you traveled for a day, you guys made camp. So mm -hmm. it's now a new day. So do you want to start um, in the morning as you guys are gearing up? Or do you want to just already be on the road? Before the ambush. Silent, 
So you're not talking to me, right? You're no, I'm, talking, t- I'm talking to yeah, talking to Silent and Hamish. Um, um, hmm. I probably slept on my mount because he probably plopped on the floor and then I plopped on his back with a blanket. Right on. <laughs> so on big pillow. Yeah. <laughs> So what's your mount like? Um, kind of like that thing from Stargate, but less gross in the face region. <laughs> kind of more cute in the face region. If okay, that makes any sense. <laughs> so it's uh, what is it? Just like a big, like a not pig-like, but just kind of a big beastly. Like creature. a giant yak. I don't know. So it's got uh, <laughs> like a long fur, so that's uh, extra fluffy. Mm-hmm. Um, horns? Yes, no? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Like a like caribou kind like of horns? Not like the big old straight out <laughs> kind, but like the maybe kind of more like forward, but not super long. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So uh, so you guys are on the road, um, and uh, it's just kind of morning. So I thought I'd turn uh, the story over to you guys. Um, and uh, have you guys uh, say something to each other, um, and then we'll cut over to Jinx after. How well do we know each other? Like, we're just kind of like, we're heading in the same direction, so I guess we'll go together? Um, I think as much as you know each other is you went to Silence Village to uh, do trades, um, to both uh, export goods out of Stronghold, but also to import from Silence Village. Um, it's not a trip that you do too often. Not that they don't have much, but uh, there's there's just a lot of places that you do business in. Um, and uh, but you can um, I don't know what it is, but you get something good from Silence Village, and that's something that you can either figure out now or later. Um, and then for Silen, uh, Silen. So um, the Archdruid has actually been dead for the past few years, um, and, but it's still kind of that realm of uncertainty. It's like okay, you say that. Um, but just recently, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, relatively recently, just a few weeks ago, a clarion call of sorts kind of went out from Stronghold saying that uh, uh, they're looking for adventures and wanting to um, expand and explore out from Stronghold. They feel after a few years with uh, the number of attacks that have pretty much disappeared at this point from, and no one's seen uh, a druid um, uh, I mean, sorry, not uh, uh, and not the arch druid, but the uh, um, shoot, I forgot what they're called, but the uh, kind of like the lieutenants, um, some of the army leaders, the druids, yeah, no one's seen them in in a while, um, in quite a long while. So that clearing call that went out was pretty much, uh, hey, with the arch druid dead and the attacks uh, come to a halt, stronghold needs to uh, expand. Um, it's way too crowded, and they're looking for adventures to uh, establish new holdings. Um, and, uh, I would think that you would be curious about this. Uh, not so much as, yeah, I'll be that adventurer. Are you talking to all of us? I'm talking to Silen. Um, oh. but you oh, guys, okay. but you guys are all aware of this too. This might all be your motivations except for Jinx, um, mm-hmm. to, uh, to be at Stronghold. <laughs> um, for you, Hamish, it's like a business as usual as far as you're concerned. Um, but, uh, h- however you want to handle that, um, you're making that trip with, uh, a few Kaltoran, uh, to go with you from your village. Um, uh, so with that said, uh, let's just turn to like a normal scene with you guys, uh, while you're on the road. Um, does anyone else have a mount or is it just me? Uh, Leave like it. a horse or something? Yeah, it's just you. Oh man. Like you're, you're hamming it up on the mount, um, as it's kind of rocking you back and forth. All right, uh, so I'm probably like leaning back like this with my feet crossed in front of me, just like asking them really inappropriately personal questions, you know, because I'm bored. <laughs> well, ask him one. All right, so Silent is that the name? I can't see because yep. my buttons are right over his name. Oh, weird. Cassandra, my my roll disadvantage, roll advantage buttons, they're crossing over his name there. I can't see it. Uh, hmm. So, have you got a boyfriend? I ask. To 
Just silent. I, I, I just sort of I glare at her, and I, I, I as I'm walking, I'm using one of the javelins as sort of like a walking stick. So the point ends up, and then the the blunt ends down. I'm using it as a walking stick, and I, I sort of as I'm walking, I, I lift that arm up. I, I let go of the sort of throw up the javelin. A little bit, grab it so I'm. Uh, it's 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 up a bit higher, and then point to the staff at her and and say, "It's not customary to ask someone you don't know that well those kinds of questions." And I drop it back down, and I keep them on. I say, "It's plenty customary where I come from. <laughs> don't get your panties in a bunch." <laughs> so uh I'm sure you all heard that. So um <laughs> the uh the other Kaltoran that are with is silent. They're they're kinda like having like some hushed talks, but you can hear them uh what they're saying. It's like is he for real? Is he really uh asking these questions and, and others are uh, there's, there's probably there's a total of four of you, including you, Silent. Um and uh, other talks kinda go on, it's like uh He's been going at this all day. This is going to be a long journey. <laughs> hey, who said I was going at it all day? <laughs> you, know, you don't necessarily hear that uh, unless you want to do the first roll uh, of the game. Uh, if you can roll awareness to see if you can actually hear that. Okay. Hmm. So to roll awareness. Uh, let's see. Where's your car? Oh, I got your character sheet right here. Uh, so to roll awareness, go to your adventure sheet, which is the default sheet. I see awareness. Um, and what you're going to want to do is type uh, slash r space 3d6. Hang on. Slash r space 3d6. Plus, and then what your awareness is, which is 1. And okay. this is this is going to be kind of difficult. I mean, it's not <coughs> too difficult. Um, so how, how I'm going to do target numbers is I start at a base of 8, um, and then I add plus 2 to every kind of step um, to uh, uh, to that difficulty. So in this case, they're trying to be quiet so you can't hear them. So that's just kind of one more step. So you have to, beat, you have to meet or exceed 10 or more, which you did. So, um, so what it does is just adds it all together, and then you have your total number which is showing at the very top so no one else uh, that's viewing this video can see it. But anyway, um, so she rolled a 10 um, and you succeeded in hearing that. So what you were able to hear though, Hamish, while they were being extra quiet, mm -hmm. excuse me, while they're being extra quiet, you heard them say this, th the part that you do hear is, oh, this is going to be a long journey if he keeps this up. But not all the other stuff. <laughs> so let's cut, uh, unless you have a reaction to that. No? Okay. No. Sorry. So let's cut over to you, Jinx. Meanwhile, <laughs> in the, the woods up ahead uh, is uh, Jinx um, along with the Bandits. What is the name of your bandits, Jinx? Uh, your fellow banditeers. I can come up with one if you if you want. You can come up with because I I can't think of one. <laughs> so uh, everyone, keep your eyes in your sockets. It is the Bandits of Arcane Bay, or the Arcane Bay Bandits. Yeah, it should be Arcane Bay Bandits. That way, they're not Bab. They're Ab. <laughs> <laughs> for the acronym. Oh, <laughs> so the Arcane Bay Bandits. Um, this was a crew that uh, you just happened upon. Um, we can get into the backstory and stuff later, but you guys are positioned um, at the forest, um, or at the edge of the woods, and uh, in, a, in a pretty good ambush position. Um, you're already set up, and you can kind of see them down the road, barely. You can see uh, Silent, Hamish, not that you know them by name, um, but you can see, uh, you can definitely see Hamish uh, on his uh, uh, on his mount, um, and 
and you can hear your leader say, uh, uh, just like the scout said. All right, let's, uh, once they cross in front of us, um, we'll split into two groups so that we can surround them from front and back. So once they're between us, then we jump them. And everyone else there, there's a, there's a band of like seven of you guys, including yourself. Um, so there's like a lot of nice, like, aye, right, aye, right, captain, kind of thing. And, um, and, and it's just a, a hodgepodge of different races. They, they've got you, the, um, the half blood, uh, remnant Nephilim, um, or is it Nephilim remnant? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and, uh, there is another remnant there with you as well. Um, uh, a Kaltoran, uh, there's no Tolato though. Um, and, uh, because uh, we're good. What else could and a legion. Um, so there's a mix of those three races. Uh, there'll be uh, a couple of legion, um, a couple Kaldorans, uh, a couple. Wow, it's almost even. A couple of uh, uh, remnant types. Your half blood, um, and uh, let's throw in another Kaldoran for good measure. So, uh, which would be the scout. Um, so uh, you guys are setting up. What's going through your mind right now? I want to steal the mount. He want that mount. <laughs> <laughs> You're going after that mount. So which group do you end up in? Are you going to be in the back or the front? Are you going to assault from the uh, back or assault from the front? Uh, from the back. From the back. Okay. So um, the legion, uh, the legions are going to be in the front. Um, they're they're pretty much the body blockers of sorts. Um, so you're going to be joining the other Kaltorans um, with your big muscle there. They're uh, uh, they feel quite confident having you in, but you're relatively new to this this group, aren't you? Yep. So um, the captain, uh, who is uh, another remnant, um, he's the other remnant, I should say. Uh, he's joining you uh, and the two Kaltorans, and then it's just the two Legion and one Kaltoran in the front. Um, and uh and you guys are are set up and he puts his hand on your shoulder um and and he tells you uh is this your first time yes <clears throat> this is just this is this is just a milk run for us uh, we uh we're able to get away with this sort of tactic uh easy so all you have to do is just uh follow my move all right okay all right so um Whoa. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's getting kind of heavy. Um, anything else you want to cover before uh, uh, Silent and Hamish uh, cross paths? No. Okay. So let's cut over to uh, Zill. Zill, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's cut over to Zill. So, Zill, um, you're actually, you've, from from the distance, you've already seen uh, uh, Silent and Hamish's group continue down the road. Um, oh yeah, and uh, uh, so they've already, in a way, passed you. So um, you're crossing the road at this point, and um, uh, we're uh, we're gonna kind of. Uh, I think we're just gonna skip the assumed part, which is then uh, then the combat occurs, right? So, um, um, but but as you see, I mean, you've already seen them in. in uh, sorry, you've already seen them go past you. Um, you're getting close to the road. Uh, what's kind of going on in your mind? What are you thinking? Trying to figure out why there's a uh, Tolotl just being surrounded by literally everything else. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't see the combat yet. You don't see the combat yet. You see... Um, sorry, what you see is uh, just the the three Kaltoran, um That's... Uh, or excuse me, four Kaltoran, the Silen, and the three others. Um, oh, so I thought that they had uh, multiple species as well. No, 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 I'm wondering why they're escorting a Tolotl. It okay. seems crazy to me because in my travels, I've never seen that happen. Oh, that's oh. right. So, so what do you do? Are you curious? Do you, do you follow? Or you just kind of went, meh, I, I got an I, objective. I kind of follow because my goal, uh, now that I've split, not like split from my tribe uh, just yet or whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. but like they're off doing something at some other spot and I'm like scouting the area, trying to learn about the general surroundings, so I'm kind of curious to it. So I'm going to, like, follow it, but not just, like, stroll up 
like Mowgli just, with the elephants. Yeah, so you're I'm just gonna. You're kind of like, well, they're kind of going my direction. You're gonna go around the woods here, basically. Yeah, so, like kind of like keeping an eye on them, but like ma- making like like I don't know, because it's also like I'm a stealthy character. Right, right. So I'm trying to like do that. How how close are you to them? Um. All right. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is where they're passing, right? Right. Uh. Well, right here is where the counter occurs. So everything's happening at this spot right here. Um, all right. So then, like you parted ways with your yeah. folks here, uh, and you're coming up this way. Yeah. Um, so I'll go a little bit more this way, I guess, but not inside of Double A. Yeah. Yeah. And you're then, you're probably cutting like this way. Yeah. They're, they're kinda, about to get ambushed. Um, like hiding behind trees and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, apparently I don't get to say what tribe my name, what name my tribe is, or anything like that either. Thanks for that. I haven't got there yet. I haven't got there yet. So <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> so uh, I, I think what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna introduce your tribe um, probably post post battle here. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I literally so. was just joking with you. Yeah. No, you weren't. So go ahead. No, you weren't. You're upset. <laughs> <laughs> of course I was. <laughs> you're so mad. Um, so. Uh, all right, then uh, as you as you follow, uh, you're going to. Well, I guess you can kind of see them. Yeah, I mean, you would, you would see them. Um, but what I would like for you to do is uh, also roll awareness. And what okay. you're uh, rolling for here is uh, you want to get a twelve or higher um, uh, for distance, uh, and then also that they're hidden. This is uh, if you can actually see movement going on with uh, the folks that are going to jump um, Silent and Hamish from the rear. Damn. Did it. So you notice that. Do you have any ranged weapons? Um, no, you're, you're melee, aren't no. you? Yeah, um, no, no ranged. Okay, so you don't... You heard. You didn't see. Um, but then hearing that cause you to kind of focus in on on that area um you were hearing uh the captain or whomever he is um uh, talking to jinx um saying uh, so is this your first time sort of thing or excuse me uh, yeah, me too which um which was uh and you know well shit i mean if you can hear it um hey silent how about you roll awareness as well but you need 10 or higher So I have no immediate conversation next to me, and I have to get a 12. He's got people gossiping and a loud Scotsman talking and needs a 10. I see where we hit the wrong thing. Let me roll that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but Kaltorans, they they, uh, they could figure that out. Yeah, I wonder. It's almost like I'm a Kaltoran, too. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fix that sniffle. Wow. That'll never happen. Right on the button. So, nice. so Silen, you heard the same thing. And that, of course, is not coming from uh, your entourage, but coming from behind you, seemingly in the woods. Your natural instinct is what? So what direction am I hearing this from? From behind you already. From behind us? Yeah, hidden, um, but behind you. Okay. So it was the noise of uh, Jinx's group, correct? Right. Okay. I uh, I mentioned the group to be uh, weary. We have... Uh, did I hear exactly what they were saying, or...? Uh, you hear exactly what they said. Um, the same thing I just told uh, Remy's car- or Remy, is that you mm-hmm. hear the captain say, us first time huh and then you hear you heard muffledly because jink knows to be quiet but you heard muffledly like uh yeah it's my first time and he's like well just follow my move sort of thing okay i i mentioned to the other group 
very or the rest of my group very quietly looks like we may have trouble behind us be ready your uh, other Kaltorans are they similarly armed like you uh, they have different types of weapons oh so like uh, maybe like a sword and board and um, yeah a very heavy book <laughs> just kidding um, uh, like a mason okay so they have uh, uh, so they ready their weapons um, Hamish do you notice that uh, suddenly um, the Kaltorans tense up they, you guys don't stop right but you're you're now yeah, no longer no, you're no longer walking stop. on your yeah, well I, I, well, I continue walking with my spear because, hmm. I mean, I, it's already out in my hand and the shield's already out, so I'm ready for combat. Gotcha. And, you know, I don't make any changes. That's part of the reason why I, I had the, the spear out, besides it being a walking stick, is it's already in my hand, it's already ready. All I need to do is just attack or throw or whatever. Cool. All right, so uh, your group is, is now I sufficiently ready. Okay, you asked me a question. Yeah, yeah. I never got to answer. Yeah, what's what's the answer? Um, yeah, I would assume I would notice Kaltorans perking up and hearing things because I know that they're gonna hear things before me, so I would be looking out for that. Okay, so we're at this uh, tense moment where your Kaltorans that are with you, Hamish, go quiet, um, <clears throat> but still moving forward. I I sit up now. <laughs> I'm on standard mount with one hand on my, what you call it, I don't know, saddle handle. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the other hand, ready to grab my weapons, because I'm like, what the heck? Jinx, you're, you're not going to be able to notice that they notice. Um, they're uh, they're kind of out of sight at this moment, but you know they've passed. You're just kind of, um, you're waiting for the signal from the front group, so to speak. Um, which uh, happens now. So uh, Hamish, Silen, um, and the other Kaltorans, uh, you all see actually a couple of Legion and a Kaltoran uh, jump out from, not like, ha-ha, but they, <laughs> they, they don't do that kind of jump out. <laughs> they caught you quite off guard. Um, no, actually they wouldn't. And you're like, ha-ha, foomp. Put it right into them. Anyway, well, if they're going to jump out, can I have them jump out holding a banner that says "Happy Birthday" a cake and balloons? <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. Um, so uh, uh, they come out and they already have like swords drawn. The the legions, the uh, the legionnaires have these. Uh, you can't see me, but I'm dragging like a pretend sword behind me. Uh, a couple of big claymores, and they're just dragging it behind them while the Kaltoran um, has a. Uh, She's running out, and then she's readying her. Uh, uh, she's already got her um, arrow. Uh, what do you call it? Knocked um, and ready to loose. Um, as the two legionnaires uh, storm in front, um, and they're doing their cries. Which uh, don't worry, you'll get an action here soon. I'm just setting up the the scene. Um, and then uh, uh, Jinx, you, uh, the other uh, remnant, and the two uh, Kaltorans, um, uh, who are also armed with bows. Um, it's just you and the captain have uh, melee weapons. Um, do similarly the same thing. Now that they're in the front, now you jump out. So here's how we're going to do this. We're not going to do actual combat. Um, we're not going to do theater of the mind. We're going to do something a little abbreviated here. It's not how I wanted to start the first session, but it'll work. Knock on wood. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're, yeah, thank you. I don't have wood. I have a glass desk. Um, so uh, how, yeah, how we're going to do this is, uh, being abbreviated, we're going to want to make this uh, somewhat quick. There's there's obviously going to be some comic going on, but um, guess who gets to attack first? You. I'm guessing. I'm like pointing you. at my picture, but I'm like, wait a minute, uh, up here. Who? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know it's mirrored, so. Yeah. Uh, Silent, Hamish, and you guys. Um, Zill, you are still, you're like, you're Naruto running at this point. Heading over to... <laughs> Heading over. I do have uh, self-respect. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, roll self-respect. Um, 100. Damn. Yeah, you're good. You have a <laughs> lot of self-respect. You forgot the my assignment problem. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how we're going to do this. Um, Silent, and each of you who get a turn, um, you will roll your appropriate combat modifier plus your weapon. 
Um, let's see, where did uh, where did that go? Combat modifier plus one. Where the heck? So we'll start with silent. Don't worry. You'll we'll just um. Oh yeah. So switch the combat tab. There you go. Oh oh. That'll make Thank more sense. You. Yeah, no problem. I, I had to think of it too. Um, so yeah, switch to the combat tab. Uh, you'll see your skills uh, on row 30, and then your weapons are beneath that. Um, for you, uh, Silent, I have to wait for your page to load because Google sucks. All right, here we go. Or not. So uh, let's see what do we got here. So your javelin is a ranged weapon. Um, you could choose to use range and try to knock down the legion as they approach you. Actually, I have a different idea. Um, my question is: Is the archer on that team in front of you? How yes. How far away? Are in range. Okay. What I want to do is the jab with one hand. I'm going to toss it up in the air, grab it so I have the right hold of the th for the throw, and I'm going to throw it at the archer and hit the archer. Okay. So roll uh, range plus your javelin skill, which is looks like nothing. I should have the javelin skill, shouldn't I? It, it, it doesn't. Skill. It doesn't have a modifier to hit. Oh, okay. So, so it's just your it, range. So I just roll one d six. Mm-hmm. And and you are all going to need ten or higher. It would be 12, um, but you kind of knew they were coming. Okay, so I, I won't be able to hit no matter what then. What? Why not? If I'm rolling a one, if I'm rolling a 1d6, I can't get 10. No, no, no. You're, it's you're, ro you're rolling 3d6, and then your range is 1, so it's 3d6 plus 1. Oh, okay, 3d6 plus 1. Okay, right. I got you now. I, I thought it was just 1d6. <laughs> Every, no, <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so every roll is 3d6, no matter what you do. 3d6 plus whatever thing is tied into that. <coughs> and what, uh, what I didn't have time to do, um, which I'm going to take care of this week, is uh, those fancy buttons in the bottom make a... Uh, uh, macros for us? Macros. So that's just a simple click of a button, and then you just put in whatever bonus that is that you have. Uh, do I have time for a quick question? Uh, hold, and then uh, then I'll get to you. So, no. all right, success. So, uh, how does that javelin killer? So, basically, when I throw it, uh, I was aiming for the, the main part of the body. So it basically hits her in the chest. Okay, I'd so it's her mass. So, like right where the the breastbone. So she she has she's like running out um, with her arrow knocked. She goes and she's aiming it uh, down sight towards you guys. And just as she was acquiring, you've already uh, um, thrown your javelin, and she gets thwacked right in the chest. And she goes back like fall, flies back about five feet, dropping her bow and arrow. Um, so as she lands, the arrows from her quiver just spill across the ground. Um, okay. two, two. So, uh, real quick, as I've done that, because of, of where I have my uh, quiver, yeah. when I do the throw, my hand is down where the other javelins are. I want to pull out another javelin to be ready for uh, the melee combat. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, you'll be you'll be ready for that. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. Right. Um, yeah, we're 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 kind of like shortening. We're skipping steps here. Like you're not going to get two actions. I'm just going to let you roll once and then. There's a result uh, for that. Um, so we're going to go to uh, Hamish next. Hamish, so you see Silen uh, throw a javelin. And, like, what? Like, you they, you saw the Legion, the two Legions, and the Kaltorn come out. Um, and just as they come out, you already see uh, Silen just throwing her javelin <laughs> through the air. It hits the Kaltorn, um, but you still see the two uh, Legionnaires charging at both you and Silen and the rest of you. What are you doing? So, uh, before the javelin was thrown and all that, I was already sitting up, ready to go. Okay. At attention. So you're going to act at the same time, basically, as Silent, right? Yeah, I suppose. Um, I mentioned it before, like, when the 
Kaltorin was hearing something. I was perking up and sitting up straight. No, I remember that. I remember that. So, okay. um, just uh, just asking what you're doing. Uh, well, I grab an arrow and my shorty bow <laughs> and uh, aim at whoever's closest to me. Okay. One of the one of the two legions. Yeah. Well. So do I have anyone to the right or left of me? They're they're both just kind of coming down the road towards you guys. I mean, kind of off the Any road. Any good but... guys? Good guys with my group. Uh, no, the other Kaltoran no. are beside and behind you. Beside both sides? Yeah, you have one on each side, one behind you, and silent in the front. Ish. Okay, so whoever's closest to any of us, I fired that one. The You're talking about who's closest to you in your group? Yes, of the good guys. So you're firing at the good guys? <laughs> no. So I was trying to I'm trying to understand why you're clarifying when I was telling you that you have two legion charging at you down the road. And you're, so it's got to be one of those two, right? Yeah. yeah. So I charge I fire at whoever is of those obviously whoever is closest to us. Yeah. They're both about the same. So how about I just pick the right one for you? Okay. Okay, so you shoot at the right one. Roll uh range plus your shorty bow which is uh Either the plus one or the plus two. I gotta try to find range first. Hang on. One. Plus what? Uh, hit. Uh, hit plus skill. Okay. So roll. What am I rolling? So um, you're rolling three to six plus your range skill. That's on row thirty. Can it be, can it be a standard advantage or disadvantage? No, that's that was that's the funny. other game. That was the other game. So you're gonna oh, roll. Okay. So again, so you're gonna roll three d six, plus. Hang on, it's gonna take me a minute. Yeah, I need to get those macros set up. Plus what? Two. Uh, plus. Two plus one, because that one is your range uh, skill, and the two you're using your alternative fire for the shorty bow. Okay, okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. Okay. I don't three actually know either. One. It doesn't make sense to me, but yeah, there it is. I think you hit, and you got a strong hit. Do you have uh, any strong hits for combat? You don't. Okay. So okay. A strong hit six or double five? Just mm -hmm. it's just a six. Okay. Anytime, anytime you get a six, that's a strong hit. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. So uh, you kill one of the approaching legion uh, that was charging up to you, uh, up to you guys. Where do you kill him, or how do you kill him? I mean, I know you shot him, but. I like to assume I hit him fairly top center mass and he <clears throat> falls backwards and I don't need to see anything after that. <laughs> uh, so uh, I would say before being a legion, it would take uh, like a couple of arrows to take him down. Um, oh, okay, I didn't know I could do that. Does that change anything? Well, can I? am I allowed to shoot? More than one arrow in one attack? Well, so again, we're not doing... And I feel awful for this because I didn't have any time to set this up today. But uh, we're not doing normal combat. Um, we're just... We're kind of handling this narratively. Not even story or uh, theater of the mind, which you ask what's theater of the mind. That's just... It's still the same combat rules, but without um, miniatures. And, uh, and I'm just abbreviating that even further. Like... These guys don't have endurance and stuff. You guys are just seeing if you succeed in what you're trying to do. That's This isn't normal combat. So that said, I'm just kind of looking at the scene going, well, I don't think... Okay. I'll, I'll roll play it. Okay, so, um, so you lose a, a couple of arrows. You're like one I, after the other, right? I just said I would roll play it, so I'll do it. Okay, go ahead. So the guy's running towards me, so I hop up on my mount saddle standing... Squat style, kind of. Yeah. And I start firing arrows. One, two, three. 
<laughs> shot center mess, and the guy falls over. So he takes he takes one in the chest, and he's like, and he's still trying to get at you. You hit him again, and the third one just basically has him fall flat on the ground. Like he just he just couldn't anymore uh, at that point. Uh, there's still uh, one more uh, heading up to you, but um, at this point, uh, Jinx, um, you and your group hops out, and uh, and you're now rushing the um, the the rear of this uh, of that of Hamish and Silence group. There, um, you see the the three Kaltoran who um, turn their attention toward uh, you all, and as you're running forward, uh, a few arrows are already like whizzing past uh, um, you and the captain's heads it's like phew, um, as you're running forward and one of them hits uh, one of the Kaltorans they roll back um, but uh, uh, but they're still trying to forward um, the other arrow uh, hits the the shield of one of the other Kaltorans um, and they kind of move into a defensive position around the rear of the uh, uh, of the uh, Hamish's mount um, what are you doing uh, I'm running up towards the Caltorn behind Hamish's mount. Okay. Uh, and you're going to make an attack? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so same deal. <coughs> the combat sheet, 3d6. And they're already aware of your presence, so this needs to be a 12 or higher. <coughs> Well, you did get a strong hit. Do you have a strong hit in anything? Uh, no. Nope. nope. Okay, so uh, how did you approach them? Um, but Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for this. It's, it's Uncle Greg's dog. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so um, how how did you... How does the combat play out? Like, you're going to be fighting three of them, basically. Oh, did he also say he had to go, like, step out? Shoot, okay. All right, I think you said one second. I looked up for a second, and he's gone. I know he said one second. I didn't know if he was just, like, hanging out. Oh, uh, word. Well, yeah. while that... Oh, he's back. Okay. So, Jinx, um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So, uh... Excuse me. Tell me, how did that go... Um, with you now getting mixed in with the three of them there, um, and you weren't, you, you probably hurt them in some way, but you in turn also, uh, got hurt. So how did, how did that happen? Um, pretty much wasn't quick on the dodges. <laughs> um, so go ahead and, and take uh, five endurance damage. So to do that, and this is just for the sake of, of <coughs> representing combat here, um, you go to cell K17 um, and just reduce that number from 25 to 20. It's the white box. So 17. Yeah, 25. K17. Yep. Let's change that, change that to 20. Um <coughs> And we'll move on to Zill now. So Zill, uh, you've been um, running across the field and nearing the road. Because I assume you're just kind of coming. You weren't on the road following them, but you were um, kind of north of the road and, and, tra like, and trailing them. I, um, I assume he was doing like monkey bars in the trees on the way there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way I see it in my head anyway. Just, just the whole time. just <laughs> Tree monkey bars, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, for uh, since we're almost out of time here, <coughs> um, so for the sake of expediency, um, so Silent, Hamish, uh, Jinx, you've you're all kind of like the fighting's been going on. This isn't just like you took an action six six seconds later, another action occurs. Um, at this point, uh, Silent, you are in melee combat with. Um, with the uh, with the legion uh, blocking uh, his sword of strikes, and you're trying to take stabs at him, and you poke at him a few times, or have you, you do that? We'll we'll roleplay that. <coughs> but just letting you know that you're currently in a scrap with the legion. Hamish, you're you're like 
uh, trying to get shots in where you can without hitting silent. Um, and maybe you turn your attention on what's going on in the back. We, we can get to that later. Um, and then Jinx, you are uh, having the fight of your life right now <laughs> against three Kaltoran and your captain. Um, you're trying to uh, sink up there. So, um, and all the while, arrows are kind of flying across. Um, which uh, Zill, uh, you're pretty much about to get uh, the jump on those um, those archers there because they don't know that you're coming. Even though they're Kaltoran, I think they were more focused on what's going on in front of them. Can I narratively do like? Not two, Not two actions, actions, but like an attack that's like a double attack kind of thing. Uh, you can you can only strike at one, um, and we can uh, we can figure out how that affects the other here in a bit. So, but yes. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, so what I was going to do, let me know if it works mm -hmm. or if I have to say something different. So I was gonna run, uh, you know, take my fucking sword staff out, and then kind of like flip the blade. And then stick it into the ground and kind of like thrust forward with, with like a kick while holding on to it on one of the archers. And then spin and pull it out of the ground and attack the other one. Oh shit. All right, roll it. I totally see a ruby scene in my head right now. Heck that's yeah. That's all I think about. <laughs> ruby, dude. Good this, is, job. this is bread and butter every day. That's oh. freaking sweet. So, uh, I gotta go to the combat one second. Sorry. Yeah, it's loading for me too. Um, what what am I rolling actually? Melee. So, so whatever uh, finesse, I believe it is. Yeah, I think it's finesse. All right, cool. I didn't have to go to combat then. Uh, well, no, sweet. I mean you want to go to combat because you have a bonus on your weapon as well to hit. Oh yeah, good 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 looks. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's a plus Rupert, one. Rupert, yes. <clears throat> Rupert. Yep. All right. So it's finesse plus extra. Yeah, uh, finesse plus uh, your hit for your weapon. Um, the star means plus two hit versus characters who charge, which they have not. So, or who are mounted big or huge, which they're not as well. So it's just going to be your finesse and your hit. So three six plus one plus one, or plus two if you want to add them together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and these are going to be ten or higher. Okay, you know whatever. You can just. <laughs> roll the shit out of this um <laughs> yeah i guess so and uh would you say that was uh, uh a sort of stealth attack i mean i kind of want to say it is considering that you snuck up on them yeah <clears throat> um oh but it's like game plus one momentum we're not going to do it, any of those rules yeah, right now. yeah. Uh, we're going to keep it simple we're just going to ease into the game a little bit um next time we do combat will be uh the vanilla rules uh for everyone's yeah. sake so sure. um but so you, is it french vanilla <laughs> my favorite Yes, yes, it's French vanilla. Okay, so then, yeah. since I rolled two sixes, can I like successfully slash that thing's neck? Um, well, you're gonna take one of them down for sure. And we'll yeah, get... I mean, not the one I kicked, the other one. Like I attack at his neck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you down one of them. Is that how you do it, or you want to describe it some more? Yeah, I, I mean, I thrust forward. I kick the first one, and then from that, after like landing, I spin and fucking attack the guy's neck or the girl's neck. The girl's neck, yes. So. Yep. All right. So she took uh, a knife to the throat, <laughs> which is good, um, or a sword to the throat, right? Uh, so yeah, it's like a stab. You impaled her. All right. So you impaled her with that, and you're probably immediately now turning your attention on the other archer, or what are you doing? Just to, for uh, the sake of how the fluidity of combat occurs. Uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the people under attack, make sure that they're okay. Um, yep. Just quickly, and then yes, focus my attention on the archer okay so what you see and then this is, it kind of carries into the NPC <coughs> turns here because I wanted you all right. to go make your rolls first is uh, uh, for the captain he managed to uh, take down one of the Kaltoran in the back um, and that's just two Kaltoran and the two remnants uh, there uh, Zill you're pretty much going to dispatch that other Kaltoran because they're they're flat footed at this point um and uh, uh, there's not much they're going to do against you. Like, they're going to try to draw blades on you, but you're quicker. Um, so that's going to be a non-issue here in just a moment. Uh, and then, uh, Silen, you're pretty much winning this fight against the Legion. You feel it. You know it. You've done 
uh, the, these kind of battles. And yeah, they're probably bigger, and they got a bigger sword, but you're nimbler, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So why don't you go ahead and roll again and see if uh, you're able to dispatch that legion. And this will be uh, uh, just 10 or higher. By the way, the question I was going to ask you is already answered. It was about the crit rolls. Yeah, strong hits. Yeah, that's what I meant, strong hits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how did you take this guy down? He was he felt pretty confident. I'm just going to tell you that he was feeling pretty confident um, and thought he ha he was winning, but you knew better. How did you know better? So basically, I wait for the opportune moment for him to do a strike. I block it with the shield. As I block it with the shield, when I bring the shield back, I smack him upside the head with the edge of the shield. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I take my spear and put it through his um, his his chest area, right where his heart is. Oh, <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> Um, and then it... once, once I've done the hit with the to, to the head with the shield, I basically smack the body with the uh, the, the actual flat side of the shield. Yeah. Not the edge, but you know, actual flat side to push him off the uh, the javelin. Yeah, that way he doesn't take the javelin with him. Does he die right away, or is it just kind of like he has that shock look, like? Well, he has that that look like you know someone getting smacked in the head where the head turns, so his head is away, so he doesn't even see the look, but his eyes and, and mouth sort of pop open, and he screams for a second when I plunge the uh, javelin into his chest, <laughs> and then when I I push out, there's just a, a, a good spray of blood let's, because let's add the heart. this, let's add this before <laughs> I like Colleen's look our face. <laughs> And then you, you watch yeah. medical shows all the time. Yeah. I don't so, know, but I don't want it on me. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, I'm oh. Not there. Hamish is too. Okay. So let's add yeah. this, uh, Silent, that uh, um, as you impaled him, he has that uh, kind of thing, but he's not going to give up. And you see him slowly raising his sword. This is trivial, but he's swinging that sword in your direction. What are you doing? So as he's swinging the sword in my direction, um, I basically. Because I had my shield up in front of him anyways, it's easy for me to block. So I just block the attack. Oh, the yeah. shield. It just, it, it, not even that much force, it feels like. It just kind of goes, yeah. pshoom, just kind of rolls yeah, right off that shield. But once he hits the ground, I take the, uh, the blade, my weapon, yeah. and I wipe off the blood and stuff on the dead body. <laughs> All right. Uh, while you're taking the time to do that, you hear more of your brethren dying behind you. Um, and uh, so we're going to cut over to Jinx because um, you are you pretty much dispatched that other Kaltoran. I, I don't think there's any fanfare to that. You very pretty much described that like to, you took care of the one and and then just kind of a simple like whoosh, I would imagine. If you want to narrate yeah. that, that's totally fine. Uh, no, I just whistle the Final Fantasy music. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so Jinx, and we'll get to you in a second, uh, Hamish. Uh, so Jinx, um, your captain uh, took a lethal blow to the side of his head, and he's just like, oh, I don't know if I really want to curse right now, but he's like, uh, Fragon Kaltor. <laughs> just, uh, just do the stuff from uh, the good place. Oh, for, fork and Kaltor. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you know Kaltor. now. You fork you and shirt well head. You might as well break the ice because it's totally gonna slip from me as we're recording. Yeah. All right. So I'll just do it. It's like fuck it, Kaltorn. <laughs> and you can see like blood just gash over his head. And he tries to swipe um, at the Kaltorn. They leap back towards you. What are you doing? Um. They sweep. Leap back towards me. Yeah. They 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 were avoiding him, but they just happen to be avoiding towards you. <laughs> I'll take a swing and see if I can knock one to the ground. All right, eight or higher. They're uh, they kind of put them they put themselves on a platter for you. See his giant fingers typing in the dice command. 
Okay, I was gonna be worried if you didn't get that. <laughs> uh, so, so they they leapt away, but their back is just jumping towards you. How are you taking care of them? Swing straight in the middle of the back to, with all my might, to knock them to the ground and break their spines. Oh, okay. Yeah, you hear a definite crack as you just like batter up. Whack! And you hear just, it's not the crack of their armor, it's the crack of their of the bones in their back. And they couldn't even scream. You knocked both the wind and the blood out of them. <laughs> so they're like, <laughs> and they um, o almost go back toward the captain, <laughs> in a way. But I'm not going to do any sort of anime fanfare where you both do like a strike and then you high-five each other or something. Um, so uh, that takes care of the second Kaltoran. Um, Hamish, you hear the commotion yeah. going on behind you. Uh huh. And uh, you don't have you don't see Jinx's character um, because he's still right behind your mount, um, just fighting uh, at dudes. Um, but you do see the captain just kind of like staggering back with his uh, hand over his head. He switched hands with his uh, other weapon, and he's just uh, he's got like this uh, long sword and. Um, and he's he looks Captain, like he's to the right or the left of me. Uh, at, when you turn around, he's to the right of you. Oh, I turned around already. Okay. I'm ass I'm assuming you turn around unless you're just gonna face forward the whole time. You're like, oh. well, you didn't pause for a second. No, so I turn around. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I just I'm I'm overly excited. I was getting ready to turn around, and you said <laughs> somebody's to the left of me. And I... Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but yeah, your commotion behind you. Just saying that over your left shoulder. How about we do that over your left shoulder? You hear the captain going, fucking Kaltoran, and just kind of stammer back. Okay. So, of the two legions rushing at me in the front, is the one on the left dead now, too? You, uh, you killed the one, and the one, the other one, uh, silent fought and defeated. Excellent. So the front is clear. So, yeah, as soon as the front was clear, I definitely would flip around on my mount saddle because I'm cool uh, to see what's going on back there and fire at the nearest enemy that would be the captain you see the captain staggering back and he's got his hand over like blah coup de gras roll it this is this is easy this is an easy shot for you eight what just say uh, you have to be you got an eight or higher so just make the same roll um, I think you can just hit the up arrow in the text box. <gasps> okay. Did that work? I was just guessing. R space 3D6 plus 2 plus 1? Yeah. Yay! Well, cha can you change the 2 to a 1, please? So 1 plus 1? Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> Okay, how does he die? <laughs> like that. I felt that. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, just right through his skull, kind of thing. Sure, right in the face. Do you do you pin the arrow through his hand as he's just like, he's usually like, huh? I mean, you control the NPCs, but you know, if his hand's there, then yeah. Okay, so that happens. <laughs> the arrow goes through his hand and into his skull. And he's just like, it so sort of drops his sword and he kind of stammers back and I feel spazzes. a little bit bad, but not really. <laughs> just, for just, just for a second. Just for a second. <laughs> um, at, and then I'm like, fork you, man. At a complication. <laughs> feels a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, he falls back. Jinx, you see the captain roll back. Um, at this <clears> point, <throat> uh, well... That last Kaltoran is still uh, going to stand there, but um, you're pretty much outnumbered. Zill, uh, at this point, you pretty much uh, were about to jump Jinx. Um, roll awareness. Talking about me? Zill. Okay. Uh, oh. You want a 10 or higher. Ha 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 ha. Just barely, just barely. So in your teeth. 
So uh, Jinx, um, you see the captain fall, and as you see him fall, um, even though you're in a scrap right now with the other Kaltoran, um, you turn because you hear uh, someone approaching you at this point, which is Zill. And Zill, how are you attacking Jinx? You're not gonna. Uh, I don't think you're gonna hurt him, but how, what is your approach of attack against him? Uh, so uh, assuming, <laughs> was, assuming. No, that. I was doing like a tackle, like flying through the air, ah, slow motion with the super sweet sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sorry, uh, I see cartoons in my head. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> assuming with the awareness roll, I notice he has a warhammer. Okay. Which I assume that it would be attacked from or coming from an overhead direction. So I'm going to come from an underhand and kind of like block before the cube. Yeah. Kind of thing. Does that make sense? Yes. Like put my blade on it, kind of like in the corner to like block it slash see what I can do. Uh, but yeah, obviously my intent is not to hurt him. I'm um, blocking an attack. I, I right? Am I, I? I am. Yeah, you blocked his attack. Yeah, yeah you, you got a successful roll here. So um, we're not going to do uh, uh, counter rolls here, gents. But uh, <laughs> so um, so yeah, you block you block Jinx's attack, and the part the other the awareness part in general is once once you block his attack, you lock eyes with Jinx and recognize him. How do you two know each other? Um, do hearts come out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are Cal Torrens, right? No, uh, Jinx is a uh, Nephilim remnant, and you're Cal okay. uh, I mean, Kel you two could feel free to kind of offer up how how that's going on. Um, uh, I was I was just thinking that. In my, my tribe's, tribe's travels, we met with where you're from, and etc. Or maybe even like, since you you had ah, no, don't call me right now. Um, I was sorry. Deleted. I was just making a phone call. Man, so angry um, the phone. I hate being called on the phone. Uh, so maybe uh, like since you hadn't killed somebody, and you know, and this guy was like, is this your first time? He hadn't really known you for too long, and also I think stated earlier you weren't with them for too long. So maybe before you joined them within my travels, I met you and maybe other people that you were with, and we befriended each other. Uh, maybe even like traded wares from different locations that we had been. Like so, for example, like maybe I came from a forest that had apples, and you had one that had oranges, and we were like, well, let's fucking swap five for five, or you know whatever fucking number. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I have something... my glasses on. Sorry. Man, I'm such a nerd. Hamish says from the mountain, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it out your windy. <laughs> Some, something you like bum. that. You got a bum out the windy. Yeah. What do you think about that, Michael? That worked. All right. The other one I was thinking is that he knows the tribe. Yeah. The, yeah, the tribe that you are in. That my old tribe that pretty much uh, that disappeared, and I have no memory of why it disappeared. All right, yeah, yeah. that that works. That's perfect. Cool. So I knew uh, the tribe, and I had, you know, experienced a situation with you before. Uh, so that could be cool. See, a reason to keep my tribe alive, John. <laughs> Yeah, they're Maybe all gonna they have information about I'm gonna, his. I'm gonna Game of Thrones all of your tribes. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> which means it will take episodes upon episodes before things happen. <laughs> <laughs> so stick um, with us. We're in for the long haul. Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, so just as the, all those memories were rushing between the two of you, you're like, whoa! Like you have that pause. You're like, whoa! We were we're buds. What? what is going on here we're on we're on the other side sort of thing uh jinx you get impaled by a sword to your side um from the from the kaltorn that was uh that you were uh scrapping with uh earlier so um and uh silen 
um, you would have already, I, I'm assuming you would have already rounded the mount and seen what's going on at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and Hamish, you're, you're seeing this unfold. Like you see suddenly this Kaltoran is, uh, trading blows with the remnant that's attacking you. Yeah. Um, yeah the guy I was firing at. Uh, no, the other guy, that the guy you fired at, the pin to the eye, he's dead. But then, okay. but then you're, you would have trained your eyes then on the other guy, which is Jinx, um, mm -hmm. there. And he suddenly, and then, but then there's a Kaltorn that's like, and he got tackled. Yeah, he got well. He got uh, he he traded uh, blows with Zill, um, and then Jinx just gets impaled by the last remaining Kaltoran guard, other than Silen. Um, Can I chop his arm off? <laughs> uh, we're gonna end it there, actually, um, with uh, yeah. Jinx getting impaled. I'm not gonna yeah. fire at you know the <coughs> enemy of my enemy because um, he's my friend. I'm assuming you have choice words for that other Kaltoran Zill. So I have choice selections of what I want to chop off. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, I mean, you. I guess that's deserving another awareness roll, as I'm, uh, unless your character just is like, uh, I'm just going to attack anybody. Uh, sort of. Well, deal. assuming I see a blade come after me, and also Wasn't recognize it? the reduce reduction of strength in his attack. So it's well, it's the. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the same page with you. So, it's um, Silence uh, compatriot stabbed Jinx while Jinx uh, traded um, strikes with you. So, like he had to turn around and went to strike at you. Um, then and that then lock happened, and then the Kaltoran that's on Hamish and Silent side impaled Jinx. Um, you see the blade just coming out, like. Whoosh, right out yeah. of, of his ab like kind of like that it's like oh kind of thing um so i would think you actually have the sense that you're like oh hang on a sec that that dude like you know jinx but you also know that dude is defending silent and hamish not that you know their name yeah so i wouldn't do that in character because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 so all right can i just like kick him away I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't have to yeah. do anything. We can we can figure that part out. Let's let's just yeah. end with that scene right there. That complicated yeah. scene that just occurred. It's like yeah, like whoa. No, it's good. A second. The cliffhanger. I, I feel cliff like I want to know what happens. Yeah. I probably have like an arrow trained on the fight that I'm watching. Going huh? Yeah. Maybe maybe you would say something like uh, um. Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll just end it there. We'll figure it. We'll figure the rest out. I think that's a good good scene. You have your arrow trained on them, yeah. Hamish, or on the on Jinx. Um, Jinx, uh, you're just kind of hanging out with a sword in your gut, um, coming out the front. Um, and uh, Zill, you're still uh, you're still processing this. I think you would have drawn your blade, like you would have drawn your blade and took a step back, like, <gasps> and and Jinx, you're just kind of like dropping your hammer at this point. I, I think just mm -hmm. all this slowly happening and silent you're running around with uh, your shield and javelin ready to take action and all of this we're all processing at the same time uh, and then next next week Morella's just gonna be there I was here the whole time and then we'll just continue on. <laughs> no we're, we'll work her into the story it shouldn't be a problem her character was crying behind a tree yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, or a she gro a grove of trees yeah someone needs me and then just <laughs> heads over there um like thor like just god beam and then she's there. either that or she was miniature style like on my back like a backpack and i'm like what the heck <laughs> uh so great this was an awesome first episode um the combat that that we're not going to do combat like that again or if we do it's going to be very brief something like a bar brawl sort of thing but nothing like what we just did we're going to do some actual combat next time <laughs> sorry i didn't have that uh ready to, to rock uh today um but this is cool finally got to act out our characters a bit um and uh, just a reminder we are not meeting next week uh i will be out of town i'll actually be visiting michael mm -hmm. um and uh so we'll uh get back together when the not the fifth that's next week the 12th so we'll get back um, together on the 12th uh oza yeah i'm gonna message you but i don't want it to come up in the recording it's not like a spoiler or anything just they don't need to see it 
Okay. Uh, so just it's, disregard that till I have, after. I have it all on another screen, so you're totally fine. Oh, well, yeah, heads up, gotcha, the 12th is Mother's Day. I'm, I is assume it I'll be night? free. I don't know what you have planned for me. I assume it's awesome. What I have planned for you is awesome, and we get to play Frag Kingdom. I see. Well, good. <laughs> well, good. That's a good combination. <laughs> I, I totally have something to plan now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so better. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> You'll have a good night, and I'll see you next next time. Message me the second Game of Thrones ends. Okay, the very second. Wait. So which which second? The second that it ends, or the second that I see the preview to the next episode? Well, I'm gonna do it too now. Uh, after. The first one? When, when you're done watching. <laughs> when it, okay, when we're done watching. <laughs> we'll do. All right, have a good night, everyone. You good too. Night.